Good day to everyone. We are going to discuss badminton. Badminton is a sport which is usually played by two or four players distributed equally on each side and hitting the shuttlecock using the racket to score points. And this sport requires proper accuracy, technique, skills, and a lot of training. And we are going to tackle about the history, the equipment, etiquette, officials, the nature of the game, the rules, scoring, and regulations. Let's get into it. First, we're going to talk about history. Well, the history of badminton can be traced from ancient Greece, China, India, Japan, and Siam or Thailand for over 2,000 years ago. It, or, the original name is battle door and shuttlecock in which the battle door is the paddle and the shuttlecock means the bird. Well, in, 19, in 1870, rather, the game was brought to England by the British Indian Army. And those British Indian Army added the net to the game. And from Battle Door and Shuttlecock, it changed its name to it changed its name to Puna. Next, in 1873, the first set of rules were established. And from 1992, badminton has become an Olympic sport. Fun fact, Fu Haifeng of China he set the official record of the for the fastest badminton shuttlecock speed. It reaches for enriches to almost 206 miles per hour on June 3, 2005. And next we have the facilities or the equipment. First we have the racket. Rackets are the equipment used for striking the shuttlecock. Rackets are fragile. They should be a we should be avoid striking the racket to the floor, the wall, the net, or the post, or especially your partner. And also avoid flipping, throwing, or twirling rackets. Next, we have the shuttlecocks, or the bird, or birdie. Shuttlecocks has 16 feathers and has a high drag projectile. They should be handled by the tips only. And if birds caught up in the net, they should be removed carefully. Next, we have the net. The net divides the court into two parts for the players. The net should be 1.55 meters high, uh, 5 foot 1 inch, and should be 5 foot high in the center, as you can see in the picture. Next, we have the net post. This is the picture of the net post used in badminton. Next, we have the clothing attire. This is an example of the clothing attire. So we have the short sleeve shirt, above the knee shorts, and certain accessories are used for support and other uses like the headband or the wristband. And for our facilities and equipment, we have the shoes and socks. The shoes used should be gum shoes. The sole should be high, has high grip and the shoe itself should be lightweight. So we can move faster, quicker, be more agile. And for the socks, it should be thick and comfortable. Next, we have safety slash etiquette. First, keep a firm grip on the racket. Be careful not to hit your partner or other players with the racket. And always stay on your own court to avoid collision with other players. Stop the play if other players enter your court. And wait until there's a stop in the action from the other court to retrieve your shuttlecock. And also be aware of the walls or the net posts. Before play, agree on the boundaries and determine the first server. And players call their own lines, meaning they can replay the point if there's doubt. And always shake hands after the game or the match. It just shows good sportsmanship. And next we have the officials. In the badminton, we have several officials. We have the line judges, the umpire, the referee, and the service judge. First, we have the referee. The referee acts like a manager whose job is to conduct matches in a tournament in a proper manner and resolve any conflicts or disputes if a situation arises. Next, we have the umpire. The umpire is also called as the main judge for the particular badminton game. They have the power to overrule any decisions made by the made by the service judge or the line judge. And the umpires make sure that the match is conducted according to the rules prescribed by the BWF. 
mean the BWF stands for the Badminton World Federation. Next, we have the service umpire. The service umpire incepts whether the server is doing the service by the rules determined by the BWF. They can give the they can give service faults to the player who conducted or who violated any of their rules in regarding serving. The service umpires use use hand signals if a fault is committed by the player to tell the chair umpire that a fault has been committed by the server. Next, we have the line judges. The line judges are responsible for indicating whether a shuttle cock has landed in or out when the shuttle lands near the lines. They are assigned to monitor. Monitor. Um, line judges are assigned to monitor. Depending on the level of the tournament, there may be as many as 10 line judges assigned on a particular match. And last we have moppers. The moppers job is to clear out the court before the match during half time and after finishing of a set or when the umpire asks for the moppers to mop the court. Next we're going to talk about the game itself. First we have to know the nature of the game. The nature of the game there are like this game is can be played by a singles or doubles. Singles is the one versus one match, and doubles is the two versus two, with players distributed distributed equally on each side. The objective of the sport is to hit the shuttlecock or the bird back and forth with the racket across a net five feet high at its center. The bird should be hit with such speed and accuracy that the, the opponent fails to return the shot successfully, hence earning scores. In the game pace of the game, it can either be fast or slow, it depends on the player's skill level. Next, we have the game rules or scoring. For the players, the players can, like I've said earlier, the players can be singles, doubles, or mixed doubles. The singles is a uh, one player ber on each side, meaning one versus one. Doubles, two players on a side, on each side, two versus two. Then we have mixed doubles. Mixed doubles is a composition of a team with one male and one female. And an opposing opponent of one male and also one female. Now scoring. The first one is rally scoring allows for a point to be won by either team regardless of which team is serving. Number two, both singles and doubles are won with 21 points. And the side winning a rally adds a point to their score. Number four, at 20 all, meaning there's a tie, the side that gains a two point lead, lead first wins the game. Meaning whoever scores the 22 point wins that game. Next, on number five, we have at 29 all, meaning there's a tie, both teams have the score of 29. The side scoring the 38 point wins that game. Next, we have number 6. In the third game of singles and doubles, players change sides when a side scores 11 points. And number 7. How much is won by winning 2 out of 3 games? Next, we're going to tackle about the general rules and regulations of badminton. The first, we have serving. The server must keep both feet in contact with the floor at the time of the serve. The bird must be contacted below the waist. The rocket head must be below the service face also. The server should be serve only until the receiver is ready and the opponent is deemed to be ready if a return is attempted. Partners of the server and receiver may stand anywhere on the court providing that they do not obstruct the opponent's view. Next, we have the serving order for singles. At the beginning of the game, which is 0-0 zero to zero score, and when the server score is even, the, the serve will begin from the right service court. When the server score is add, the server will be from the left service court. If the server wins a rally, the server scores a point and will then serve again from the alternate service court. Then if the receiver wins a rally, the receiver scores a point and now becomes the new server. They serve from the appropriate service court meaning if the score is odd, they serve from the left side of the court and if the score is even, the right side of the court, the right service court. Next, we have the serving order for doubles. A team will only have one player serve per service. At the beginning of the game, when the score is even, the service will be from the right, from the right service court. And if the score is odd, the service will be coming from the left side of 
the service court. The left service court, rather. If the serving side wins a rally, the serving side scores a point, and the same server serves again from the alternate service court. Next, if the receiving side naman wins a rally, the receiving side scores a point, and then the receiving side will become the new serving side. The players do not change their respective courts until they win a point when their side is serving. The fourth rule is that the winners of the first game will serve first in the next game. Number five, birds falling on the lines are considered good and not a violation. Number six, during a rally, a bird that touches the net and still goes over to the other side of the court is still in play. Next, we have fault. These are the violation of rules. And these occur if, number one, on the service, any part of the rocket head is higher than the service wrist and contact is made below the waist. Number two, the service fails to cross the net or go into the proper service court. Number three, the feet of the server and the receiver are not in the proper courts at the same time or during the time of service. Number four, the server hesitates or stops the service motion or misses the bird. And number five, the improper receiver returns the bird on the service. Number six, a bird hit into the net, under the net, against the wall or ceiling is considered as out of bounds. Number seven, a player hits the bird before it crosses the net. Number eight, the, the bird touches a player or clothing. Number nine, the player touches the net while the bird is in play. Number 10. The bird is hit twice in succession by one or both partners. Number 11. The bird is helped, caught, or carried on the racket when it's struck. When you, when you hit too hard, the shuttlecock gets trapped in your racket. Number 12. A player obstructs an opponent. And lastly, for our general rules and regulations, we have number 8, let. Let is a play allowed to be replayed. And this only occurs if 1. The bird becomes caught in or caught on the net after passing over the net. Number 2. If the bird hits the basketball supports or the net. And number 3. The following situations occur before the next serve and if the offending side wins the rally. The first situation is the correct server serves from the wrong side of the court. Next, the wrong server serves from either the correct or wrong service court. And lastly, the, ser the third situation is the correct receiver receives in the wrong side of the court. So that is it for me. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you soon. Bye!